My name is Matt Haas. And I'm Sandy Archer. Yay. Yay. Sandy, Yay. how are you? I'm good. How are you? It seems like forever since we've done this show. I know. What is up with that? I think it was another two weeks went by. We're busy I people. Why, why are we so busy? I don't know, but it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> kind, it kind of really is. Hold on. I have to turn turn some more lights on back here. There we go. Now, now my set is properly configured. <laughs> All right. Well, you got me in the square. Yes. You have been a busy little bee, haven't you? You've been uh, oh. yes. tr trucking across the country. I'm finally home, Virginia. I was in Nashville. Uh, seems like it was last week, but it was actually the week before. So I wish I could have done something. Hi, Marilyn. Hello. Marcus is here. And oh. Oh, I thought it was Marilyn. Well, see, it, I need to put my glasses on. It does have an M as the first letter of the I'm first sorry, name. I'm sorry, Marcus. So. I couldn't see. <laughs> Hi, Marcus. How are you doing? I think Marcus so, was channeling Marilyn through him. So was he? Was he? Oh, okay. okay. Well, Marcus, have you ever been to Nashville, Tennessee? I'm wondering. I stayed in a KOA, the Nashville KOA, and it's right next to Opryland. And uh, I got an RV space because they didn't have any campsite spaces, which was great because I had a U-Haul and I had to back it in. And the guy, you know, he, he takes you around the RV thing. And here I am in a in an SUV with a U-Haul trailer. And he's, he's looking at me like, what are you doing? Right. And so I have my pop up tent with me. And of course, I've got all these belongings with me in the back. And uh, they're like, well, are, you're not going to sleep in your car, are you? And I was like, no, I've got a pop up tent. So I popped up the tent and then I put I had all of these pillows and comforters and stuff and I threw it all in there. And then I took a lamp and an extension cord because it was an RV electric hookup. <laughs> I made it, you know, if I would have had a television, I could have actually, you know, sat in there and watched the television as well. So I felt like it was like the most glamping I'd ever done. So cool. But the problem was everybody's like, well, aren't you going to go somewhere in Nashville? I'm like, I can't. My car is attached to a U-Haul trailer. I can't go anywhere, you know? Oh, my goodness. So I stayed on the KOA not knowing they had this really nice pool and they had movie night and they were playing a movie. And I missed out on all of it. Oh, no. And instead, I sat in the camper and read a book. Well, or can't or the in the tent but i did i have to admit i did go try to sleep in my car like middle through the middle of the night because i was really uncomfortable i was like oh my gosh i haven't slept on the ground in a tent in years wow on the ground i was like ah I have so how to... about you have you when was the last time you went on a pop-up tent oh that's not a pretty story <laughs> That, that's when my wife and I learned that we are not um, outdoor Campers. activity people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, you learned it then, huh? Yes. I, ever, ever since then, it has to be Wi-Fi and indoor plumbing. Like, that's that's the standard. Well, well I had both. Okay. I mean, I had Wi-Fi, and then there was a pool, and there was there was plumbing and a shower and the whole deal. Now, now here's here's the deal. <laughs> Towards the end of this month, I'm going to a party in the country, upstate New York. This okay. guy has a 250 foot slip and slide that he makes, and it oh is epic. He's got about 150, 200 people show up, and a lot of people just camp on the grounds afterwards. And right. I'm going to attempt to do that. Some people sleep in their car. Some people, what I saw a hammock at oh, yes. Costco and I think I'm just going to buy myself a, a portable not the kind that you tie to two trees but it has its right. own sort of metal things yes. and so I think I think I'm going to buy one of those and then just sleep in the hammock over yes overnight that way I'm up because off the I ground. tried to sleep in the car and it was actually more uncomfortable I went back to the tent believe it or not I got better sleep in the tent than I did in the car so I could, 
Look at John. 250 foot slip and slide may or may not be approved by OSHA. This thing is incredible. <laughs> he rigs up he rigs up the hoses through plastic PVC pipe over the slip and slide so it tr- trickles down oh on my four different spots down the hill. Oh my gosh. And 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 the 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 landing part, you you've got a long um You've got a long strip where it's horizontal to kind of slow Does down. Does he make you sign a waiver? No, no, it's it's all pretty shady. And oh. uh, th- there's even I'd be like, okay, you're gonna do this, you're gonna sign a waiver, you're not suing me. No. Yeah. On, on it's toward homemade, the end, man. toward the end of the flat part, there's a little a little indentation, and the water pulls up there about four inches. We call it the deceleration pond of awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> Because the big guys like me, you know, that weigh 200 some pounds, we get like max speed going down there. And we just, we hit that four inches of water and it's like, whoosh. <laughs> it's that a sounds lot of fun. awesome. It's a lot of fun. Well, I'm getting ready to put together a summer waves, uh, easy set pool, but yet it's not so easy because you got to put a filter on it and you got to put gaskets and things and oh wow. my gosh do you, i know do you have teflon tape you need a lot of that <laughs> teflon tape no i don't to, to put around the threads of the of the fitting so that water doesn't leak oh. through the sc- screwed in parts oh yeah. all right so let's see i'm not looking at the comments so i should Marilyn Hi, popped JD. in. And Marcus, and Marcus says he's never been to the U.S. I didn't know that, Marcus. Yeah, well, Marcus, you, we got to fix that. When you come that. over, let us know. Yeah, you got to get over here. We're very friendly. We, yeah. We'll, we'll have you. That's right. So, yeah. all right, let's see. I'm sure there's some if trouble we can get into. If it wasn't for that horse, I would have finished college. Huh? That was, is that is an obligatory. It's a movie line, I'm sure. No, no. Huh? That went viral. That comment went viral on Reddit. Because someone mm. put that in a comment thread of a of an article, and no one could figure out what she meant by it, and uh, she never commented. It was just like w- one account, one comment. That's all she put. And we were like, "What?" And there's a there was a video game that I played, and the little creatures would do little word bubbles and talk to you. And in the word bubble yeah. was that exact comment. Yeah, it's it's like an internet thing. Oh, that thing. makes me want to do that now. Yeah. It makes me want to go just do one comment because I've never commented on Reddit. Teflon Ooh, tape I should make the... up one. That sounds like a good idea. Mm. I mean, you know. So, yeah, let's see. What else we say? Hi, Marilyn. She is here now. Hello. Oh, she popped in. The slip and slide is not approved by OSHA, I'm sure. No. No, def- Teflon definitely Teflon tape not. for the Teflon Don. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you're planning it, Marcus. Okay, well, keep us All posted, right. Marcus. We'll we'll add, we'll add to your agenda of awesomeness for sure. So, what's going on with you this weekend and beyond? Well, I sort of have an open weekend. There was a festival in Phoenixville where. There's a movie theater, a very old movie theater, and the movie theater appeared in a movie. Like, they shot a movie in the movie theater, and the movie was called The Blob. Do you remember The Blob? Oh, I love The Blob. Yeah, from the 60s or 70s. Yeah. Oh, that was my favorite. So there's a scene where The Blob comes through the screen. I remember. And and people run run out of the theater. Ah, That that was in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And every year they have a big sci-fi festival with street vendors where you can uh, oh shop God. and then you can go to a double feature at the Colonial Theater, which is the name of the theater. And they play something kitschy and classic and the blob. So you get to see two two movies. And it, I was going to do that with a bunch of my Rocky Horror Picture Show pals because I, I went to the Rocky Horror Picture Show a lot. Oh, you're one of those. Oh, yes. I, you I dress am. up and you oh. do the things and you take your newspaper and your rice and your water gun. Oh, yeah. I was I was a cast member. I acted it out and everything. Yeah, it was it was nuts. It was a whole a whole group of us would go. Oh, I bet you you were. Uh, Frankenfurter. Yep. <laughs> a few yep. times. 
I, I, I was mostly it. Brad. Brad. Oh, you were Brad. Yeah, mostly Brad. Sometimes oh, I was Riff Raff, and uh, I, I did I did the lips a lot. You know, you just at the beginning. That's that's an easy part because you have five minutes exactly. in the beginning and then you're done. Um, you know, it was. Well, it, I I had to dress up because I went with some friends and my sister and I saw at the store she wanted me to dress up with her and all i came with was i luckily i found like the sign that was the lips and i just put a you know a string around it and around my neck yeah there you go well if (laughs) if you want to come it at the hershey theater towards the end of october they always have Rocky Horror Picture Show, and they have a costume contest, and they have an MC. Ah. So it's like a uh, there's like a um, fifteen to twenty minute pre show of activities with at the theater, and then you watch you watch it uh, you watch the movie, and it's a lot. Of, and they give you the props. That you, is so cool. Yeah, for five bucks a bag, you you can get the confetti and the cards and the light. Well, and, you know, I know how to do the time warp, of course. Oh. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, yeah, Whoa. baby. <laughs> no, I, I'm a big, big, big Rocky Horror Picture Show fan. I did it, not know that. That's so funny. My sister was the huge. She, I mean, she saw it over 100 times. She was the one that made me dress up. Yeah. I was like, ah. Uh. No, she, she was always uh, magenta. Yes, magenta was fun. She's a fun magenta. character. Columbia and magenta. Columbia yes. is a good costume. People that wear the Columbia costumes, since it's so gold and sparkly, they usually get the accolades when when they're there. Yeah, but yeah, um, she does. She does. But her hair, she does her hair right and the whole deal. So had a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, interesting. One of one of my Google Docs is a very public and very well viewed Google Doc, and it's of the um lyric not lyrics the uh the dialogue of the movie oh and okay. inserted in the dialogue of the movie are the audience participation lines I would, oh. i've documented every word of the movie oh my goodness what you're supposed to say you know brad janet dr scott Shut up. Okay. where's your neck <laughs> <laughs> yeah the criminologist dude yeah. I, I i one of my friends looks just like the criminologist does he? It is like does he, freaky. Does he do the little? Yeah. <laughs> I take some magnifying glass. Oh yeah. There's the and they were going. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I should know. do that one. <laughs> He's a cool guy. He he does um auctions for a living. He's an oh. auctioneer. So he'll go, you know, four hundred, four hundred, two hundred, four hundred. <laughs> that almost makes sense. <laughs> and, but you know what else he does? This is super interesting. Are you familiar with Ollie's Bargain Outlet? Of I, course. Yeah, okay. Well, they, I, they do I the, buy, um, my, I'm sta- standing on a rug I bought there. Yep. Nice. Well, that whole business model, the unclaimed freight, where people oh, get truckloads mm-hmm. of stuff delivered and then they never take it. Someone's yes. got to take that goods. And Ollie's is one of them. This auctioneer guy that I know that, that looks just like the criminologist from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, that's what he does too. He, oh, wow. He has truckloads full of merchandise and it's a lot of food like one time we went to a picnic he brought a pallet of like a bagged snack food and it was all like within three weeks of expiring he's like i gotta get rid of it it was chips and pretzels and stuff like it was all unclaimed freight but it was stuck that's crazy you meet these crazy people. I love meeting people and figuring out how they move through the world and how they make a living right. and what they do. I'm like, this guy buys unclaimed freight and then resells it at retail, like like Ollie's, but he doesn't have a store. It's just him somehow. Oh. Somehow he makes it work. I don't fully understand all the ins and outs, but <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. So, all right, Marilyn gave us a heart. That's sweet. I love the purple and heart. Us, you guys have so much fun. Does he mean we have so much fun on the show, or we have so much fun in the U.S.? Ooh, ma, who hmm. knows? I don't uh, know, pr- Marcus. Probably both is what he's what he's getting at. You know, but Marcus, you're right. We do have so much fun. In but general. I'd like to go where he's at. So, in yeah. fact, a friend of mine is there right now. Unclaimed yeah. freight, and we can pass the savings on to the consumer. Yes, that's how to yes. do it. Yes. And this guy also bought 
This was one of his his failed investments. He bought raw um, coffee beans, whole crap ton of it. Brought it over to the United States because, of course, you can't grow it here. Only grows around right. the the uh, um, equator. And then um, he found someone to roast it. He made the bags and he had it all back and ground it up, roasted it and ground it up, and then and then tried to sell it. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> he, Why? He just, I mean, wanted to start a coffee cup. I don't know. This guy's nuts. Nobody wanted it. I, I don't Who think he sold want very, coffee. What's very wrong with them? them? I don't know. It's, Were they scared about the way he roasted? <laughs> I don't know. It just it just didn't Are you resonate. Were scared with the about public. the beans? End of trading is here. Hello. Hi, end of trading. Welcome hello, to the hello. super terrific awesome show. Super terrific awesome show. So I, what else is going on that super terrific awesome? Tuesday I'll everyone. be at a concert. Eighties hair bands, baby. Awesome. I know. I'm sad. I wish I were going. Yeah. Were. Yeah. Well, it's, you have a seat. It's this thing you... called work. I know. Stupid work. This was a concert that was supposed to happen in 2020. And they bumped yeah. it to 2021. No go. And then they bumped it to 2022. And it's finally happening. And finally. I can't Finally. Know. What an awesome time you're going to have. Oh, yeah. I went to a Motley Crue um, tribute band the other night. Oh, on Thursday, nice. I went on Thursday. Then Was I the, went to the Led Zeppelin one on Saturday. Oh, hold on, well, hold on. You're going, Zoso, too, you're, which you're going too fast. You're going too fast. Huh? You're going too fast. So let's back I'm it up. Fat. The Montley Crew cover band was the front man blonde. Yes. Okay. That's were they good? Of course. Were they good? Oh, they were really good too. There was hardly anybody at this venue, and they were traveling one. Okay. Um, and then Zoso, which is one of the more popular Led Zeppelin tribute bands that travel and tour, um, they were at the beach and it's a free concert. So awesome. yeah, yeah, they, they did really good. And I was lucky cause you know, I kind of know peoples and we were at the soundboard and we got to stand up on the thing. So I got to take a video higher than the people. So. Awesome. That's always good. And then on the 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 trip from the Led Zeppelin one, we walked and then there was a Beatles tribute one on the beach. So Virginia Beach has stages throughout the summer. One's at 31st, 24th, and then 17th. And then even further down, just depends on how wow. far you go. And so the Beatles tribute band, they were from England. So and they were pretty cool. I don't know what their name was, you know, okay. <laughs> Led Zeppelin. I mean, we, we left stairway to heaven, you know, on to let it be. So, you know, <laughs> stairway to heaven. that, that, cool. that arrangement is so popular, that guitar arrangement. And one of the notes is really controversial. People hardly even can describe what it is because it's like a, a flat extend, you know, well, yeah, something. they, yeah. yeah. It, it's, is it a capoed or no? I don't know, but it's it, it's it's a unusual arrangement of notes that just work mm -hmm. so perfectly, and yep. they're also one of the most uh, monetarily successful bands. I mean, just think of the royalties from Led Zeppelin. Like every generation just embraces those oh, songs. They love them. Think of all of the middle school dances with "Stairway to Heaven." I mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you saw it in the crowd. So, you know, the guy with the gray hair standing next to the young girl that's got her little hippie dress on, you know, um, yeah. I got to tell you something about Stairway to Heaven. It has always fascinated me that the song starts out slow and ends up fast rock and roll, okay? Yeah. So when you're with a girl, when do you stop slow dancing and when do you start fast dancing? Now, before you answer, it is not when the drums come in. That is not the right answer. It happens sometimes after the first drum crash. And I want to analyze hundreds of thousands of dances 
and and chart when the couples okay. stop slow dancing and start fast dancing. That's what I want. Well, do. okay. So so in that transition, what do you think you would do? Well, I already know because uh, I've I've danced it. Okay, let, let me give you my answer, and we'll give you your answer there. Okay. Okay. Well, I think the appropriate thing to do, and again, when exactly you should make these moves is is unknown to mankind. But then you sort of drop you drop your hands around the waist and put space between you, and then you just kind of go back and forth, kind of medium fast. Nah. Un- until you start fast dancing. Okay. What's what's your answer? Well, that's a great time to separate and and then swing the girl twirler around and then swing her back and then back and then you start into the fast part. Well, but see that, that transition only takes a couple seconds. There, there is a right. long there's probably a minute and a half full of not slow, not fast. That's why you you transition by doing, you know, you stop the slow dancing, you you swing her around, okay? And then you create the space and then you just sway. Okay. Effectively, what you're saying is with the exception Mm -hmm. of those three seconds, it is all slow dance and all fast dance. But that's not the tempo of the song. The song is slow, this in-between state, which is more than three seconds and then fast. (laughs) It's like, what do you do? That's called the drink time. (laughs) Yeah. Swing her out, make her stop, hand her a drink, you both drink, and then you go into it. <laughs> okay, you so did. you treated us two songs with, with a break in between. <laughs> yes. Got it. That is probably yeah. the most intelligent answer I've ever heard for this conundrum. <laughs> you, 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 you win one pat on the back, Sandy Archer, oh, but you'll you. have to administer I- it to yourself. <laughs> So, Do you um, know what one is really hard to dance to? What's that? Is LA Woman by the Doors. OMG. Oh. That is a really hard song to dance to in front of a band. Like to do it to do the dance the whole time is just absolutely ridiculous. And I've done it, so that's why I, I know. Well, that, that pacing is very <laughs> unique on that song. LA Woman. Yeah. Oh my gosh. LA woman is such an awesome song. You know, I'm not a huge doors fan. Not really. Well, I but did like LA my fire woman, on the piano. I just love it that was song. difficult. Have you tried to play it? I did it. It gets on piano. Awesome. Oh yeah. See, L- light I light my fire. Know. And I even did the do, 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 yeah, see, that's a different song. I know, but I'm just saying, I did a, <laughs> I did a Doors song that's on awesome. the piano. That's not, awesome. Not that's I have to go find it now. Okay, so uh, let's see. Venture Forward says, is that more Pasa Doble or Cha Cha Cha? <laughs> yeah. And would Bruno or Len give that? Di- yes, I know. Len, I, I think Len. You know, it's really funny. I mean, Small World is uh is what's the guy's name oh my goodness uh dean oh what is his name now i forget i forget people's names i hate to say that when i was in kansas city i knew a couple whose daughter is dating the dancing with the stars guy um the young one yeah isn't that weird it's like small world like oh yeah my daughter's dating him (laughs) Oh, out yeah. in LA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's kind of just weird. I love dance. So I'm a dancer. So I'm not a musician. I'm a dancer. So okay. I, I, I love the transitions of music and the different rhythms and the different, um, my friend, she was playing last week, reggae, and I forgot how much I loved reggae. Like I love reggae. I used to put like, a lot, I forget. I used to put a lot of reggae under my woodworking videos. But it wasn't like full on reggae, but it was like the genre of reggae. Like the mm-hmm. and it was very popular. People people like that. Yeah, popular. Rebel what what is it? Rebel Nation or yeah. They're really good. Um and of course Bob Marley you can't beat any bar Bob Marley song. In fact, I had a show this last week my first show in a while 
um, this past week. So I have another show now. So there you are. Oh, you mean a YouTube show? I uh, yeah, Chick Chat oh. KC. Chick Chat. Chick Chat. Chick so, Chat. Chick Chat KC. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw yeah. I saw you looking for for uh, I saw a marketing post about that. And you're like, you don't I have did. to be a chick. <laughs> you know, I saw that. You don't have to be a chick to come in and and chat. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna. It's kind of a laid back one, like this one. You know, we're, it, it's not so serious. Like my other ones are more serious. So, <laughs> what was what was the what some of the topics you talk about? Well, that's what I mean. Dating, uh, you know, food, <laughs> uh, you know, places to eat, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. You know, good. You know, just you know, movies, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of like what we talked about here. Keep me posted here. when you have them and I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, come on. Yeah. Um, so, so yes, I did see a movie this last weekend. Another one. Of Let's course see. I've seen Maverick twice because I love it. Love it. Nice. I'm going to see it one more time, okay. but, uh, I saw Elvis. There's I a movie Elvis. called Elvis. You didn't know there's a movie out about Elvis. No. What? Oh my goodness. Does it's it, it's matching Maverick right now. It's like Wow. Yeah, you didn't know. Does did you all know that, everyone? D you does didn't know the, Elvis about the Elvis on movie? screen eat a peanut butter and banana sandwich? He did not. <laughs> it was an interesting it it was written in the view of the manager hmm. instead of in the view of Elvis. Does that make sense? Yeah. It was, a, it's an interesting view. Did Elvis buy him so, a car? Elvis used to buy a lot of people in his orbit a car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know, it was kind of a sad view at the same time, kind of in a way. Yeah. 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 Good deal. I've been watching movie. all kinds of weird things <laughs> this last week. <laughs> so. I, I, I love how things are starting to open back up and get back to normal maverick sha la 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 productions that's robert Hi, lee sha la 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 production oh, the tom cruise film was thinking of the one with james Garner. oh elvis yeah i mean yeah so it was in the colonel what was his name colonel parker's view okay yeah interesting elvis is an interesting character he the world was not ready for elvis he really tore into the well, scene he didn't understand where he was coming from either. You know, mm -hmm. he was kind of mixed up about that himself. I'll never know? forget Tipper Gore. You know, she, she quoted Elvis in her, in her uh, campaign to put the parental advisory stickers on albums, which just meant it was guaranteed to go gold. Like every album, like you didn't buy an album unless it had the parental advisory sticker on it. <laughs> totally back oh what was it what uh who was it that went up against her um oh my gosh oh, d schneider from twisted sister d schneider twisted sister yep oh yes he did yes he did my knowledge of rock and roll stars that have been in front of a congressional hearing is beyond compare like i metallica you complained to congress like i don't know didn't didn't you too they got called up there too. Yep. Um, you too. Metallica did it because they were complaining about Napster. You know, they were like, yeah. ladies and gentlemen Napster. of the Congress, uh, we're multi, multi, multi millionaires and people are stealing our 25 cent songs. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Lars, yeah, you're not looking to too admit, good. That's not right. It wasn't right. I. I, I never did I never did like that. And they finally they finally got everyone who downloaded a Metallica song, their accounts shut down on Napster. And they were celebrating. You know what everyone did? Five seconds later they created new Napster accounts. It was like totally not a win at all. Um just, Oh no. I, I, I never forgot. See, I was it. totally out of the loop about that. I think I was like had kids and sports yeah. or something. There's a couple of Metallica was... albums, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, maybe Injustice for, and then it just gets, nah, just no. <laughs> Metallica, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> Give me the old really? stuff. 
I'm not really? a big, I'm not a new Metallica fan. I don't like their material. Okay, I, so the the clincher question, Nickelback. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do you, do you remember that Facebook page? It was like, can this Facebook page get more likes than Nickelback? And all the, the banner was a pickle. They called it Pickleback. And it was a phenomenon because, you know, Nickelback had a million likes. And it was like 800,000 likes are telling your friends, you got to upvote this nickel, this Pickleback page. <laughs> ah, that's funny. What about you guys? Nickelback? No, yes, no. no. Nickelback. Oh, no. come on. I, I'm a rocker girl and I'm sorry. I do like Nickelback. Oh, Sandy. Cringe. I know. You, I'm sorry. My heart. Shame, my heart. Shame. How, shame, shame. How can shame. I go into this weekend knowing this fact about you? Chad, I love you, Chad. I love you. There's, there, there. there. <laughs> Did but you, I love the, the lead singer of Nickelback was shoulder to shoulder with Ronald McDonald. And they did like a, <laughs> a kid's time Ronald McDonald. Like, you're in a rock and roll band, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not rock and roll. <laughs> anyway. Well, he married a Avril Lavigne. I mean, you know. Well, I, okay, Nickelback I is, know. is universally oh, seen he, as. Look at, he, he's totally mad at me now about this no you like who you like I, that's all good i do like nickelback they're, sorry. they're kind of very and we corporate. just lost we we just lost viewers over it uh, sorry I think so sorry i think we did it's gonna hurt our bottom i think line. so it's gonna hurt the 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 we're, we're gonna, gonna make half as much money from this this show <laughs> how much are we making now i love i love jv he has these little zingers but is that how you remind me <laughs> that's a nickelback <laughs> lyric I love that song. Sandy, I think we're over a little bit. We're having so much oh fun. Oh my gosh, we need to go. I have to go put a pool together. Oh, okay. Wear, wear gloves. A hero can save us, yep. And eye I need protection. A hero. You know, when you're putting together your your, your pool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, everyone. We'll wrap it up here. Right. Thank you for Bye hanging you out. Guys. We're leave with the stinger. Bye, everyone. I'm on Bye. JV's show after this. Jump over to the All Venture right. Forward. I'll be over there. Bye. Have a great right. weekend. Bye, and I'm just Bye. kidding about Nickelback. I still love you, Sandy. So Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Have a great Bye. one. Okay, bye.